Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Digimon World. I am your Dungeon Master Darius. Last we left off, I made two horrific realizations. One, Tanamon actually tells you when it is that the uh, Vegemon is present where it's residing. Uh, which is alright, cool, you know what? Fine, I like being in the loop, as it were. The second is that there's a freaking card machine directly to the left over there. Which, no, when it, when it, I'm just a little bit upset about that because, let's face it, um, uh, I, I've kind of been just a little bit upset about the situation with the whole card thing the last couple of episodes so you know what pardon me I apologize about that uh, how much money do I have left oh I'm gonna sell the offensive chip and buy a thing about Bob you know what I mean the autopilot that's the one <sighs> Alright, so, our goal for today is going to be going back to Shogun Gekomon and being all like, hey, so we got some curds, and kind of hope that it's enough cards to give me something, anything, really. I'm still rather upset that the game did not tell me about the, um about the time of which that the card shop itself is open. Like, that that still ticks me off something fierce. But, it's fine. I don't know why I'm going this way when I could have just head to the left, but you know what? It's fine, and I'm, I'm slowly losing my mind. I'm pretty sure I lost that uh, several episodes ago, honestly. It's hot in my room. I've taken off my headphones, so if you manage to hear the game volume, first off, congratulations, you have super hearing. Uh, second off, I apologize for that. But it is hot in my room, and I don't want to die from heat as I drink my water. Mm-mm, water. Alright. Getting to uh, Shogun Gekomon shouldn't be too hard. Shouldn't. And the keyword. I really should probably... Do I want to try my hand at Bergamon after Shogun Gekomon? Yeah, I guess it depends on the results of going to Gekomon Swamp. Because if I end up... If I end up dying for nothing... Uh, then I'm gonna be pissed. But hey, what's what's new from the last like ten episodes? It's amazing how much longer it feels like a Digimon's life goes for when you're actually doing stuff during the day as opposed to doing nothing but constant, non-stop training. Don't get me wrong, the training can be relatively, you know, chill, as it were. But, uh, sometimes there's just a point where it's like, I, I gotta go, I gotta, I gotta have my Digimon do something. Fight something other than a log. But anyways, Yuru Savana. Is this the one that would have? Yeah, that's, that's the Alecmon. Can't go into the factorial village yet. I don't want to test my luck against these unicorns. Sherm Shermamon, I want to say that their name is. Might be wrong. There's the toilet. Gotta go, buddy. Now's the time. Okay. Now, the Koelamon actually has some stats. 
I'm a little less afraid of going into the Gecko Swamp. I still don't want to random, randomly encounter three uh, Yanmaman at one point. At one time, that would suck. Alright. Yep, and there you are. You bastard. At least it's a small Irene. Irene. Irena? Arena. Oh, his health and. His stuff is still low. Maybe I should have waited until the next day. Nah. Nah, we, we got this. He's got this. Look at that. Murray did him. At least the wind cutter missed. I do really miss when, uh. Wind cutter was kind of his bread and butter because the wind cutter was a good amount of damage without worrying about, you know, MP too much. Ooh, good, good, good. Yeah, get that ice needle on. Good. Oh no! Ah, damn it. I missed him. Yeah, there you go. <sighs> Let it be known, folks. That's the difference between a speed of 100 and a speed of 130. Yanamaman dropped MP floppy. Excellent. I'll make up a little bit for the uh, MP that we spent with that fight. Oh, might as well pick up that happy mushroom, seeing as I accidentally ran into it. Okay. Please be worth it. Please be worth my time. Imagine if Shogun Geckomon didn't um, have an audience with anyone and unless it was like particular days. Boy, that'd be annoying. Well, merits. Go with Digimon Guard. Um. Go with Digimon Guard. Okay. Ooh. It's very common. Five points. Now I might be upset. Very common worth five points. This isn't good. I'll give one point. Okay, it is a Numamon. I, I, mm, that makes sense. I hate that I essentially spent 100 bits. <clears throat> one point? My guy! I hate you. I didn't think I'd... To be clear, not just Shogun Geckomon at this particular situation, but I also hate pretty much all these Digimon even more now. Nanimon was always kind of one of those, what the shit is wrong with you, Digimons? <sighs> okay. So theoretically, if I were to essentially get one point per rando car that I got from that shop, I would be needing to spend something like 100 bits per point, 300 points, that's essentially 10,000 point, three, 30,000 points? 30,000 bits if I want 300 points. I'm upset. <sighs> Alright. Well, we at least know that's a thing now. Which means I'm going to actually need to pay attention to what time it is because at... Between the days of the 1st and the 15th, I really need to go out and do that. 
Uh, it, that, that's just a little discouraging. I threw, essentially threw away a bunch of money for so little. I suppose theoretically I could have bought that because one of the things that a bunch of people were like would be all like buy the super recovery and sell it for like thousand plus points and it's like yes that's a good idea but I just I I'd essentially come out uh, relatively even at this point which does not make me happy. I hope people understand how that does not make me a happy. Now we cleared out this goddamn fog. Oh no, we made it so as we can see the path in the fog. But we should be able to see... Or, oh god! 600 damage? Sir. God, why is this Fugamon dynamite? Alright. Transform just as he finished. Just as I find it. Mm. MP stuff. Things. Oh, 600. That's good. Okay, I, I'm just trying to think, and thinking is not a strong suit, considering how long I've been doing this. Um... Don't want to mess with the shell, mon! Alright, I think I went the right direction. Should've gone the right direction. So I'm trying to get to Cherrymon. Um... All those Shellmons still there? No, that's a Fukamon. Maybe I can. Do I have to go around? In order to get to that then? That's a Shellmon. I guess means the Akatorimon is not here yet. I really do wish that some of these. Again, the main guide that I'm using right now is more or less just a giant map that points out, hey, this is here, that's there, and this is the direction you need to go to this town, or whatnot. Which is fine. But I kind of wish it was like, card shop appears days 1 through 16, I don't know. Is it that hard to fit that much into a little bit, into a little, um, card? Why is this Goburimon so badass? Please attack. Please continue attacking. That Goburimon is doing so much damage, it's... Oh god, I just... Re just realized how much health it has. No, not worth it. Run away. <clears throat> uh, do not appear on the other side of that Shellmon cluster. Why? What did I just say? Enjoy some sirloin, buddy. Yeah, certainly. Ha certainly hope you're happy after that. <clears throat> Why are we constantly in this pinch of, I have so little money? Mm. You know, I said I was going to try to take on Bergamon after this. I don't think that's going to be possible. If only just because of how much money we have to buy supplies in order to fight things. Shellmon. 
Why are you even come this way? Seriously. God damn it. We don't have an MP to finish this fight. I wasn't even trying to get into that fight. I just tried to walk forward. Uh, I'm upset on many affronts. I'm upset because the cards I got were useless. <clears throat> I'm upset because the path forward is blocked by a bunch of stupid strong Digimon. I essentially can't get past without... without being stronger. Which, okay, that's the point of the game, but god damn it. And my Digimon are just constantly in a state of being eh and rrr with me. It's frustrating. It's honestly frustrating. Uh, what do I want to do? I sell my soul? Is that an option? No? I'll sell the happy mushroom. I need... I don't know how many recoveries, but I think eight should be enough. And... Start with three, three floppies. I know that half the problem is, in fact, me trying to, more or less, bull rush my way through everything. Between trying to bull rush my way through a bunch of, like, plot, what a little plot there actually is, and training and thinking to myself, yeah, this will get me the Digimon I want. I know a lot of that is that. God damn it. Alright. Digimon looks fine, but he's freaking tired. Seems to be a bit tired. He shouldn't push himself. I would love for there to be a place where my Digimon can rest for his full HP and MP. But I suppose doing a little bit of that. Do a little bit of training, I guess. Could up my attack power some more, just so as I don't have to worry about... I'll worry too much more about lack of damage. Because I don't even remember, how much did, um... How much... Eight, eight, how much attack power did I have... With... What's this base? I don't even remember what Digimon I had anymore. But I essentially want to try. It would be try. Get his attack up just a smidgen more. His two or th sorry, three hundred was clearly not enough. We need food. We got food. Have a sirloin. Hope that fills you up, buddy. And you're sleepy? Alright, buddy, we're gonna go into your fatigued. I might just be one. But to who? A three. Still, that is quite a bit of an attack boost that we've gotten so far. Four. Oh, yep. Hungry, exhausted. Have some, uh, just a little bit of food, buddy, and then we'll put you to bed. Okay, save and go. 
Alright, so I definitely can't beat anything that's within that freaking misty forest. But I think, think, maybe, possibly, I might be able to beat Bergamon. I want to try. I want to try at least one more thing before I watch Koalamon. 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 Kick the bucket. So, I probably should, uh, do I have enough? I, no, I don't. I was just thinking if I have enough for an autopilot. Pretty sure I don't. Nope. Got 12 hours. I've been playing this game, not 12 hours right now, but 12 hours in total. It's just like, I feel like I've done next to nothing, because my Digimon keep on dying. I don't want to sell the porta potty Uh, that's literally just enough. Alright, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save down here. Uh, just inside of the place and beg to the gods that maybe I'll be able to take out Bergamon and then and hopefully Bergamon will just fly me back to the city? I don't freaking know. Ugh. I feel like Bergamon will be the final Final big hurdle at the moment, if only just because I've put so much effort in trying to freaking get it. But at the same time, I don't feel particularly like losing my Digimon because, oh, it died to Bergamon again. Seriously, it has been, like, that has been one of the most disheartening things so far, just... Oh, hey, your Digimon died to Bergamon. What's that? Rematch? This time you're a little bit stronger? Alright. Oh, look at that. Dead to Bergamon. Again. But, anyways. I shouldn't fight any Digimon along the way. I need the money, but at the same time, kind of pointless. Nope, nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know you're constantly on the back and forth, being sad and angry with me. <clears throat> and if Bergamon gives me a hard time, I definitely can't take on Pixamon. Pixiemon, for those that don't remember, is that little puff ball with wings. Nope, 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 nope. 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 <laughs> There's been a whole lot of frustration with this game. I still have been having a good time, despite said frustration, but at the same time, it's just... Ow. Oh. Ow. Oh. I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna go in the volcano blow. So, now that we're here, we go the invisible bridge. Frick you. I know you're gonna be a weak one, but you're still gonna end up taking up some of my MP. Like a bastard. Relatively weak. Relatively weak, and that you're weaker than the Guburimon back in the Misty Forest. And I hate that. Like, I get it. It's a recycling of assets, so you don't have to worry about, you know, filling out more of the areas or whatever. But man, nothing hurts more than going. Yep. 
I can take on that Kaburimon. The ones in Area X are weak. The ones in Area Y should be just as weak. Oh no, I'm dead. Well, at least the battle made him happy though. Probably the sirloin too. At some point I really do just gotta do the freaking monochromon shop. Well there were Gatsumon here. Sorry, Gatsumon. Oh. And of course you gotta use the bathroom. This is where Ogramon was. Ogramon? Ogurmon. Take the elevator, go down. Sorry, buddy, we're too close to Bergamon to really. not do anything. So we'll go up. Using the elevator. Hopefully we don't run into the Yanmamon. Wow. Let's see, this should be the bottom area. Or no. Nope, this is right. Alright. Now to throw away some time and effort. Hope to God that Quellamon can take on Birdmon. Still a weird noise for Bergamon. I feel like that's partially because it's got a snout and teeth instead of a beak. Like, look at that thing and tell me that it pecks. Oh, please tell me that you're going to freaking destroy it. You do a thousand two hundred damage? Sir! Well, I officially don't know what to do. All the Digimon in the Misty Forest are far too strong. I gotta wait until the first for the card shop to open up. Bergamon is... It's gotta be a weakness thing, I think. Like, fire is weak against water, but water is also weak against fire. Something stupid like that. And clearly it's stronger. And a whole lot of passageways are just closed off to me because of strength, because of power level, or because of just generally <clears throat> not being strong enough to handle the situation. I can't get my improved training stuff until I get the fishing pole. I can't get the fishing pole until I can get to the card shop. I can't get to the card shop until the first, and by that time, Koelamon is going to be dead. And I'm going to have to do something else at that time. Till that time. Which I think that something else is just going to be grinding on this red Vegemon. Probably until Koelamon kicks the bucket. It feels bad, because Guelamon feels pretty... He feels pretty freaking strong, is the thing. He's not necessarily a weak-ass Digimon, it's just... For some stupid arse reason, every situation he's been tossed into has been just the worst. So it's discouraging. The best I can do is maybe train him until he's strong enough to do something. I just don't know what the something is. Vegemon's too strong. Misty Trees, I could theoretically weave my way through. Bergemon, though, he's kind of been the biggest through you this entire game so far. Uh, that's just... 
it's been disheartening. That's pretty much all I gotta say about it. I don't know what else to do besides just train. Train, train, train. More training. Grinding for money and then more training. What sucks too is that since I'm all the way out here, um, when he eventually gets exhausted from all this fighting, <clears throat> my poor buddy is gonna essentially need to fuck up and wait for a bit until we finally get to get to the place, get to get to Centaurumon to rest. I'm so upset. Also because I don't know what what I'm doing wrong with the training foods. Like, is it just status effects? Or does it also apply to MP and HP? Because if it applies to MP and HP, well then my freaking... My freaking MP should be fan goddamn tastic at this point. Yeah, time. Again, I'm I'm mostly just discouraged. <laughs> like everything I do uh, at this exact moment is a massive goddamn wall. Well, at least there's a that. I don't know. I'm more or less in a state of, I've got to burn money to get cards, I gotta get cards to get the pole, I gotta get the pole in order to get to the area where I can even think about... I know I've been saying that for the past couple of episodes, but it's burned in my head at this point. Please attack. Thank you. I don't care if it gets blocked, just keep on attacking, man. Oh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Turned into a goddamn Tamagotchi. It's still funny, though, that he's doing more damage to him than he is back, even though he's in Tamagotchi form. I'm more or less ranting at this point while I'm grinding for money. Can you blame me? All I gotta do, all I can do is get money. And again, there's better ways to get money, but... Oh, he dropped a super carrot. Lovely. Saved me a whole 500 bucks. Or made me a whole 250. Super carrot. Whoa! <coughs> Alright, I'm gonna get up to 2,500. Then I'm probably going to head back to the village, see what the hell... See how the hell I'm actually supposed to use the super carrot. And do a little bit of off-screen grinding or something, because I won't lie. One of the biggest things I've just been concerned about is whether or not people mind watching all the grinding, which... You know, it's my YouTube channel, I can do what I want, but at the same time, if it's not entertaining, I can only do so much. Hey, here's an anecdotal story about X while I'm doing Y. Y in this case being... Ah, killing so much time. Or grinding for money. Might, have, might as well say that I'm probably going to end up doing little else besides grinding for money if Quellamon's so close to, you know, Deadsville and nowhere close to being in Evolutionsville. So I'll go ahead, call an episode here. When we return, um, I'm probably going to have at the least a different rookie Digimon because I'm going to spend the last, last bit of Quellamon's life grinding for either money or begging to the gods that he might actually digivolve. 
which is not very likely. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. As always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.